Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we help you manifest all your desires. The true meaning of I am strong. In one of Neville Goddard's most profound teachings, we find the statement, let the weak man say, I am strong. But what does this really mean? Is it about physical strength, mental toughness, or is it something deeper, something more transformative? Today we're going to explore this powerful phrase and uncover its true meaning. How it's not just about being strong, but about embodying the end state of whatever it is you desire to be. Neville wasn't telling us to simply repeat words in the hope that they would magically change our lives. He was guiding us to assume the feeling of our wish fulfilled, to embody the state we desire to live in. Whether you seek strength, love, success or peace, it's all the same. The secret lies in assuming the state of being that you wish to experience. Let's dive into this concept together and see how it can transform your life. Understanding the Law of Assumption To understand the phrase, let the weak man say, I am strong, we need to first grasp the Law of Assumption. Neville Goddard's teachings revolve around this law, which states that whatever you assume to be true will harden into fact. This isn't just about positive thinking, it's about living from the end. It's about embodying the state you wish to experience as if it's already your reality. This is where most people get it wrong. They think it's about forcing themselves to be strong or confident. But Neville teaches us that it's about feeling as if you are already the person you want to be. You're not striving to become strong. You're assuming the state of strength, success, or whatever your desire may be, right here and now. So what is it that you truly desire? Is it strength? Is it confidence? Is it love? Whatever it is, Neville's advice is to assume that you are already that. Let go of the idea of becoming and step into the state of being. This subtle shift is where the magic happens and it's where your reality begins to transform. Living from the end, Neville often spoke about living from the end, a concept that's crucial to mastering the law of assumption. But what does it really mean to live from the end? It's about mentally and emotionally placing yourself in the state of your fulfilled desire. It's not about hoping or wishing, it's about knowing. It's about feeling that what you desire is already yours. This isn't about fooling yourself or pretending. It's about truly embodying the state you wish to experience. When you say, I am strong, you're not just speaking words. You're aligning yourself with the vibration of strength. You're living from the end where strength is your natural state. And the more you dwell in this state, the more it becomes your reality. So ask yourself, what is the end that you want to live from? How does it feel to already be that person? The key is to immerse yourself in that feeling, to live from it every day, every moment. This is how you move from desiring something to actually becoming it. And as Neville would say, you do not attract what you want, but what you are. The Power of Imagination Imagination is not just a mental exercise, it's the very tool by which we create our reality. Neville often emphasized that imagination is the Christ within us, the power that can bring about any desired change. When you imagine yourself as strong, successful or loved, you're not just daydreaming, you're planting seeds in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind. But here's the key, you must imagine with feeling. It's not enough to see the image, you must feel the reality of it. Feel the strength in your body, the confidence in your step, the love in your heart. The more vividly and emotionally you imagine, the more real it becomes in your subconscious and the faster it will manifest in your physical world. So the next time you say, I am strong, don't just say it, feel it. See yourself as that strong person, living the life you desire. The more you engage your imagination in this way, the more you align with the reality you wish to experience. Remember, your imagination is not a place to escape from reality. It is the very place where reality is born. Overcoming doubt and fear. Doubt and fear are the two biggest obstacles to embodying your desired state. 
They creep in telling you that you're not strong, that you can't achieve your desires. But as Neville taught, these are just shadows. They have no real power unless you give it to them. The solution? Persist in your assumption. When doubt arises, it's a sign that you're still identifying with your old state. But remember, the only reality is the state you choose to embody. If you persist in assuming that you are strong, even in the face of doubt, the old state will eventually dissolve and the new state will take its place. This is the power of persistence. So whenever doubt or fear arises, don't fight it. Just return to your desired state. Reaffirm your assumption. I am strong. Feel it, believe it, and let the old state fall away. As Neville would say, do not be anxious about tomorrow. Do not worry about how the desired end will be realized. Live in the end, and the end will create the means. The art of relaxation, one of Neville's most powerful teachings, is the art of relaxation. To truly embody your desired state, you must first relax into it. This means letting go of the tension, the striving, the need to control. It's about trusting that what you have assumed is already true and allowing it to manifest in its own perfect way. Relaxation is key because it allows your subconscious mind to take over. When you're relaxed, you're in a state of receptivity. This is where the magic happens, where your assumptions begin to crystallize into reality. So, after you've assumed your desired state, take a moment to relax. Trust that it's done and let go of any need to make it happen. Neville often said, the end is where we begin. When you begin from a place of relaxation and trust, you create a fertile ground for your desires to grow. So let the weak man say, I am strong, and then relax into that strength. Trust that your assumption is already a reality and watch as it effortlessly manifests in your life. Living in the end, a daily practice. To truly transform your life, living in the end must become a daily practice. It's not something you do once and forget about. It's a way of being, a continual return to the state of your wish fulfilled. The more you live in this state, the more natural it becomes, and the more effortlessly your desires will manifest. Start your day by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Ask yourself, if I were already strong, how would I feel? How would I act? Carry that feeling with you throughout the day. When challenges arise, return to your assumption. Reaffirm it, feel it, and live from it. This is how you bring your desires into reality. And remember, it's not about forcing yourself to feel strong. It's about gently guiding yourself back to that state over and over again. As Neville would say, be still and know that you are God. This stillness is where the power lies. It's in the quiet confidence that what you have assumed is already true. By living in the end daily, you make your desired state your default state. So, how do you live in the end every day? It starts with your morning routine. As you wake up before your feet hit the floor, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Carry that feeling with you throughout the day. When challenges arise, pause, breathe and return to your desired state. This constant practice of living in the end transforms your reality from the inside out. The Subtle Power of Silence One of the most profound yet often overlooked teachings of Neville is the power of silence. Silence is more than just the absence of noise. It's a state of inner stillness where true creation happens. When you quiet the mind, you create space for the subconscious to take over, allowing your assumptions to solidify into reality. Silence is where you connect with the divine within. It's where the weak man dissolves and the I am strong takes its place. In this stillness, you find the truth of who you really are, not a being struggling to become strong, but a being who already is strong. This is the essence of living from the end. In silence, you embody your desired state fully and completely. Make silence a part of your daily practice. Spend a few moments each day in quiet contemplation, affirming your desired state. Let the stillness reinforce your assumptions and watch as your external world begins to reflect your internal state of being. 
persisting despite outer circumstances, Neville often taught that the outer world is nothing more than a reflection of your inner state. This means that even when the outer world contradicts your desires, you must persist in your assumption. If you're assuming strength, yet find yourself in situations that test your resolve, see these as opportunities to deepen your assumption, not as signs of failure. Remember, the outer world is malleable. It's shaped by the inner world. So when you persist in your assumption, no matter what, the outer world must eventually conform. This is the essence of living from the end. It's about holding firm in your inner conviction, even when the outer circumstances seem to say otherwise. So here's a challenge for you. No matter what happens today, persist in your assumption. If you've assumed strength, then be strong, regardless of what comes your way. This persistence is what transforms assumptions into reality. As Neville would say, when you know what you want, you don't ask. Act as if you have already received, and it will be so. The joy of becoming what you already are. Finally, let's talk about the joy that comes from living in the end. When you embody your desired state, when you truly become what you already are, there's a profound sense of joy and peace that follows. This is the joy of alignment, the joy of knowing that you are the creator of your reality and that your world is a reflection of your inner state. This joy isn't something you chase, it's something you uncover when you let go of the struggle and simply be. When you say, I am strong, and you truly feel it, you tap into a wellspring of inner joy that's always been there. It's the joy of knowing that you are not becoming strong, you are already strong. This realization brings with it a sense of peace, ease and fulfillment that nothing in the external world can shake. So let the weak man say, I am strong, and in doing so discover the joy that comes from becoming what you already are. This joy is your birthright, it's the natural state of one who lives from the end. Embrace it and let it guide you as you continue to create your reality. Embodying your desired state. As we wrap up today's exploration of Neville Goddard's teaching, let the weak man say, I am strong. Remember that it's not just about strength. It's about embodying any state you wish to experience. It's about living from the end, feeling as though your desires are already fulfilled and allowing that state of being to shape your reality. Whether it's strength, love, success or peace, the process is the same. Assume that you are already the person you wish to be, live from that state every day and watch as your life transforms before your eyes. This is the power of the law of assumption. It's the power of creation within you. If you found today's video enlightening, make sure to like, share and comment. We're shadow banned, so every bit of engagement helps us meet our goal to reach at least 11 million people by the end of 2024. And if you need personalized guidance on embodying your desired state, sign up for one of our consultations. Together, we can help you live from the end and create the life you've always dreamed of. See you in the next video. Sending love, peace and prosperity to you all.